symptoms of a bad radiator cap, as simple as a, a radiator cap that can mimic a head gasket problem. There's um, simple ways to do this. Number one, if you start the car and it's overheating, and what it does is that it's pumping the coolant out of the radiator into the reservoir, okay? So that could, that's a telltale sign of a head gasket problem, okay? But that's also a sign of a bad radiator cap. Now, let's say the car is overheating, you shut it off overnight. And now it sucked that red, that coolant that was in the reservoir or overflow tank, it sucked it back in to the radiator. That's a good sign. That means that it's probably not a head gasket problem because if it was a head gasket problem, it wouldn't suck back because it was not from cool, it, um, explaining it, it was not, let's say it was not from overheating where the pressure because the cap is failing, so the pressure builds up more than the cap's rating, all right? It pumps out and goes into the overflow tank. So now, when the car is cold, gets cooler, it's going to suck it back in if it was a bad radiator cap, and it's going to be more or less back into the radiator in the morning. A head gasket, what it's doing, it's pumping the system up with the cylinder pressure, like a pump. So it's pumping the water out. There's really no heat involved because it's really not even that hot yet. It's just pumping the water out. So now that water is gonna stay in the overflow tank. It's not gonna be sucked back in because it wasn't overheating like it wasn't from steam or it wasn't from um, just regular suction from the um, cooling down process. It was pumped into the uh, coolant reservoir. I hope that makes sense. So that's how you know. If it doesn't suck back, that's going to be a head gasket problem. And now when you take the radiator caps off, believe it or not, sometimes even if you ha haven't taken them off in a while, and let's say you just took it off just to check your, your coolant, sometimes these seals, right, it was sealing a certain way. When you put it back on, it's going to leak now. And if it leaks, that's going to cause a uh, bad radiator cap system where it's going to pump the coolant out, the car is going to overheat. Also, these springs, you see these springs? And these numbers on here, okay? This one says 18 pounds. That's 18 pound pressure. If you put a 16 pound on here, it's going to leak, okay? And just a lot of times these just fail. It's good to replace them. You're supposed to replace your coolant every two years, replace your radiator cap. All right, you see, this one I, I replaced this one about a year ago. Still good, coolant nice and clean, the way it's supposed to be, and you're good to go. So that's how you uh, know, or if you don't want to go through all of that, radiator cap is $10. You can replace the radiator cap, see if the car still overheats. But I don't like to being a parts changer, and I don't like my uh, viewers and subscribers being a parts changer. So if you have a few minutes, you, you just notice that when the, when the coolant is in the coolant reservoir tank, if it gets sucked back in, chances are it's the radiator cap. All right, and hopefully not a head gasket. All right, guys, motor car up, please subscribe, hit the like button. If you learned something today, please give me a super thanks uh, or a donation to the channel. I really appreciate it. And I answer all my questions if you have any pertaining to the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.